David Lipsky is a young American golfer who grew up on the west coast of the United States, but who spent most of his career so far on the Asian and European tours. He picked up his first Asian Tour title in his rookie season, having won medalist honours at the qualifying school, and more recently also bagged his breakthrough in Europe, collecting the title in Switzerland at the European Masters. We caught up with David recently to find out more about his story. Yeah, I grew up in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, both my parents played golf when I was growing up, and they would just take me to the driving range when I was a kid. And um, they would drag me to the golf course, and I slowly I got into it. I was more into team sports, football, soccer, baseball, but you know, I really enjoyed the individual aspect of golf, and I think that's why I started playing it. David attended Northwestern University in Chicago, where he played on the golf team and studied political science and history, receiving honors for both golfing and academic excellence. Many talented amateurs have trodden the US college path. Few have been able to balance their sport and their studies as well as him. You'd have to embrace experience. Um, obviously, when you're playing in college, you're not going to have as much time to you know, practice as you would be if you turned pro straight away. So it's more of an experience, I'd say, that one that I would never you know, take for granted or change. Um, but it's definitely, you, know, it's, you, learn, you learn how to play golf. You play a full schedule, playing college and amateur golf. You, play against some of the other best you know, college and amateur players in the country, so you really get to develop yourself as a player. David secured the biggest win of his career so far in the Swiss mountains last month at the European Masters. I mean, it was a major accomplishment. I put a lot of hard work into it, and you know, it was my third time playing in Kranz, and to you know, seal it up there was very special. He played one of the shots of his life to make it into a playoff for the prestigious European Masters title. And even though he was feeling the pressure at the 72nd hole, he produced when it really mattered. No, I mean, I was very nervous, but I mean, I tried to turn that into a positive. Um, I didn't try to get too anxious. A little bit of cut spin on it. Oh, he's done it, he's done it. Oh my goodness gracious me, I thought he canned it. What a shot. <laughs> that amazing wedge shot gave David the birdie he needed to tie the lead, and when Englishman Graham Storm failed to birdie himself at 18, it was into extra time and back to the 18th tee for the first playoff hole. There, David put his drive into one of the fairway bunkers. The usual play from there would be to attack the green, but he decided on another option. I think the thing I, that stands out most is me laying up on the last and on, on the playoff hole. Um, I thought I was doing the smart play. I mean, obviously, I got a little bit of flack from you know some of the commentators. Hello. What's all that about? It was an intriguing option. <laughs> he just got frightened of it. That's what he was trying to do, but I, I can't believe it. You know, in my mind, I was doing the right thing. I was playing the percentages, and, you know, it ended up working out for me in the end. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The victory saw David become the first American to win the European Masters since Craig Stadler almost 30 years ago and earned him a two-year exemption on the European Tour. With my exemption right now in Europe, I would, you know, I have no plans to, you know, play elsewhere. Really, I mean, I'll play a little bit in Asia. I'll try to do uh, USQ school, but I'll try to do mo mostly European. Doing it his way and doing it well. Look out for David as he begins the next chapter of his golfing career.